from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. And good morning, everybody. It's a big day with a lot of breaking news across the board. And the breaking news starts with your money. It's a big day with a lot of issues happening. And we're going to go over all of them starting right now. It starts with that new number released minutes ago. As 230,000 new jobless claims were announced by the Department of Labor Thursday morning. And it came exactly as we predicted. We are talking about 220, 230. It came in at 229. And that's why you can't wait to get a four stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. In this recording, we're going to go over those incredible checks and how you get them. And we're going to go over the latest details on this economy and why the economy is getting worse by the minute, by the day. You can't wait for any of this incredible money. Let me go over what's happening on a big new day for June 16, 2022, live on air, starting right now. The Department of Labor released the new jobless claims this morning and came in right at the money. Over the last week, I said I was expecting this new jobless claims number released this morning to come in 230,000. It came in basically the same, 229,000. Got it right again. And this is troubling news as more Americans are losing their jobs and they're not finding a replacement job. We'll have more about that data in just a second. This is why you got to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. The concern is the number of continuing jobless claims as well, stopping at 1.3 million new jobless claims. It didn't come down compared to the week before. Also, breaking news today, one asked please we're going to recession third quarter this year. What? Yes, Destination Wealth Manager Michael Hoshanon says that he believes that we're going to recession third quarter this year. Not correct. Why? Because you have to have consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth to have a recession by the third quarter. Now, this is interesting because the Americans 
polled in a new report last Friday believe we're already in a recession right now. Let me make this clear. None of the above is correct. We're in three phases, which I've identified on this channel. The phase one is right now. Between now and December, this economy is going to get much worse. It's going to be a it's going to be an about phase. It's going to be a whiplash. It's going to be a pivot and change. It's sort of like a storm out to sea that suddenly changes course because there's a, there's a hurricane ahead of it. February look may have looked really good for you. December is going to look horrific. How bad? It's going to resemble day one of the pandemic, March of 2020. The only difference is in March of 2020, there was no pre-warning to get money. There was no pre-warning there was going to be a lockdown. There was no pre-warning you're about to lose your home, lose your business, or lose your job. And this time, there is. Me and you, this incredible community called the Purple Power Community. And that is why I want you to get that forced to check in every U.S. state. When you go over that incredible forced to check in every U.S. state, it's coming up in the second half. You need to get it because when September hits... It's going to be a shocker to people who don't watch this channel. Let me tell you what's also happening today. There is a grand, brand new quote out minutes ago, and I love this quote. The quote came in from Alliance Chief Investment Advisor Mohammed El Ararian, and I like the quote for one particular reason, the one adjective in the sentence. It's the adjective silly. He says, about time we exit this artificial world of, pre of predictable mass liquidity where everyone believes we're going to get zero interest rates and we do silly things, whether it's investing in parts of the market we shouldn't be investing in or investing in the economy in ways in which it doesn't make sense. Well, here we go. What's at issue today is I believe he's exactly correct. Not for you, but for, for people who don't watch this channel. Silliness is starting left and right. And it starts with the following. One. Silliness is for people who have jobs, who believe that job security is still there. It's not. It was less than a week ago that America's number one most watched financial news channel in America said everyone has job security and they're not being laid off. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Today, their lead story is what to prepare if you're unemployed. Well, that was a very quick turnaround time. Yes. So silliness is someone who has a job that believes that they're laid off. They can go next door, get another job next door. Ask for a hiring raise, ask for a signing bonus, not true. Selena starts with the second story that came in just minutes ago. It's not you. It's for people who don't watch this channel. But I don't want you to fall into this realm of silliness. It concerns seniors. A new report released minutes ago says that seniors now are, at, uh, which are anyone older, over the age of 55, are now dipping into their savings and running up debt like credit card debt. Uh, this is horrible. It says 47% of them polled says they're now considering this. I got to tell you, this is why this is horrible. You need to do the reverse right away. You got to get rid of debt, flexible debt, because Jay Powell is going to raise those interest rates. Jay Powell at that Federal Reserve FOMC meeting yesterday raised interest rates three quarters of a basis point. That's for June. Whether it is J.P. Morgan Chase or or myself, we all agree upon the same uh, prediction that Jay Powell is going to do three quarters of a basis point increase for July next month. They're off in August, and then half September, half in October, quarter in November. That's a lot of interest rate spikes, folks. And you got to get rid of everything right today at home that is flexible interest rate based. Credit card debt, stop it, pay it off. The story that says seniors are increasing their credit card debt by the month, by the day, that's horrible. they got to be doing the reverse. Car loans, get rid of them. Anything that is flexible interest rate, like a mortgage, switch to fix because you're going to get killed as these interest rates are going through the roof. Now, going back to that quote with the word silly, what is an example of silly? Corporate America greed where they believe that they can take a product you bought from them a month ago and now raise the price dramatically and that you'll buy it. Why are they raising the price dramatically? Because corporate greed means that they do not want to take less profit on the item. It costs them more to make more money to make the pro product. So rather than give themselves less profit, they're giving you higher cost to buy the item and themselves the same profit level. Does it work? No, it's what I call silly again. 
And it comes in from Tesla. Tesla breaking news minutes ago. Tesla is taking one most of its models and increasing the price of the models by nearly $4,000 overnight. <laughs> Let's take this data notch. I mean, this is ridiculous. Car sales year to date are down 70%. So before we had any problems, people were not buying cars this year because they didn't have the money. Number two, they're not buying the cars on debt because the debt is too expensive. We just went over the debt. And now they're taking the car you could have bought last month and putting $6,000 on top of the car? No. Why? Because that's doesn't want to make less profit. That's corporate silliness. And what are you going to do? You're not going to buy the car. Of course, this is Tesla that laid off 10% of their workforce last week and announced a hiring freeze. So they want to be as profitable as possible and stick it to you. You're not going to buy. And that type of silliness is hitting companies like Revlon. The beauty company is declaring corporate bankruptcy. Today, corporate bankruptcy started for this pandemic, started for this downward spiral in this economy. It's going to continue. Revlon announced Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection today. And this is the first of many companies I'm going to predict to announce that they're going bankrupt on this channel. Uh, not because of this channel, from the channel. On the channel, I'm going to announce the news. And I believe this is just the start of many to come. Here comes buying. This is not silly. This is actually sensible. Millennials in a new report say they are stop buying items because of the downward spiral of this economy. They're no longer buying cars. They cannot afford the debt. They're no longer buying homes. They can't afford the debt. They're no longer buying big purchases, and they're worried they don't have job security. Why? Because even the big tech companies are laying people off. The news continues bad across the board. As the Bank of England minutes ago announced that it's doing more interest rate spikes. The Bank of England, of course, is the pair is the uh, sister brother to the Central Bank of the United States, Jay Powell. They're doing the fifth consecutive rate hike in just a few weeks. And this is after England predicts they're going to 10% inflation. 10% inflation? Meantime, back here in the United States, we just went over the importance of getting rid of that flexible debt. Here's why. 10-year Treasury note surging out of control today, 3.4%. The 30-year bond, 3.43%. And the 2-year Treasury note, 3.3%. Again, the Dow Jones is down 800 points right today. It was down 600 points twice last week. It's because of Jay Powell's announcement yesterday on that three-quarters of basis point increase. Here's what you need to know. There's three parts of this, three stages of this economy between now and September. Then stage two starts in September, and stage three is in January. What are, what are you watching on this channel? You're watching three things in every video. Allied delivers you three things in every video. Tells you where this economy is, the breaking news like the Treasury yields. Tells you the prediction of where the economy is going, whether it's the unemployment numbers today, getting them right to the lily of the penny, or giving you guidance on inflation or recession, and then getting you checks. And those checks are coming up in the second half of this video. It's very important for you to understand you need to get these checks today. And when I mean today, I mean literally today. A forced stimulus check has been in every U.S. state since the month of March. And I started recording them on this channel in the month of March. It's now June 16th. And you need to go right on this video right now and become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Power, Casino VIP. Get those forced stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Because the financial downturn of this economy between now and September will be severe. Why is it important to get them right now? You get checks when times are good. You do not get checks when times are bad. Yesterday, a member of two months reached out to one of the volunteers, said, after two months, I finally started making the effort to get the checks. The question was, what have you been doing for two months? You can't wait two months, two weeks, two days. The checks are going to run out, and then you're going to start having to compete with everyone else. Let me tell you what's going to happen in September. September will be like day one of the lockdown of March of 2020. And the only difference between you and everyone else is that you have this community. You have me. You have the knowledge and the information delivered on air for you. And you have the ability to be prepared. The pre-warning is right now in this video. I'm pre-warning you right now to get forced stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Why? Because they may not be around in September. Why? Because in September, people are going to be laid off. They're going to be laid off, and they're going to look for PUA. doesn't exist. They're going to look for PEUC. doesn't exist. They're going to look for FPUC. doesn't exist. 
They're going to go to the employer next door and say, I want a salary. I want a job. I got laid off. And I want a hiring raise. And I want a bonus. No, no, no. And I'm afraid I'm going to lose my business. I'm not hiring you. What? They're going to be shocked. It's called the whiplash. It's called the downward spiral. It's called the change of the path of course in this economy very quickly. February to right now, imagine how quickly this economy has changed. And Americans are not prepared for it if they're acting silly. If you have a job, I want you to make sure how the backup for that job. I want you to immediately write today, if you have a job, think about what would happen if I'm laid off tomorrow. If you're laid off tomorrow, is there another comparable job that you really believe will still be around between now and September? And how quickly could you get that job? If you are laid off today, what is the next step? And it should not be dipping in your savings. It should not be running up credit card debt. It should not be looking for stimulus checks. It should be what is the backup right if that happens. Now, if you're a business owner, you know what's happening. There was a story, I believe it's on Sky News in England, about one business owner who literally cried on air yesterday, who said his city is announcing another tax. He says, I can't do another tax. I'm losing everything. Yes, whether it's Starbucks, hospitality, bars, uh, restaurants, travel, or leisure, they're all struggling horribly because the consumer's not coming in. They cannot run their businesses. The costs are going through the roof. And they are not hiring, and they're afraid to lose it all. Now, this is where we go back to corporate silliness. Silliness. What has gone on with the corporations? Auto thought they could raise the prices of cars up to keep themselves having the same profit level. They can't, and you're not buying, and they're going to go under. The airlines thought they could raise the cost of the airline ticket to a ridiculous, I mean, it's just, it, it is silly. Here's the word again, silly. A $500 U.S. domestic round-trip ticket in the United States because they want to make the same profit level because they got jet fuels through the roof. Silly. Make less profit and keep the airlines, keep the flight packed because people will buy a ticket at $220. They're not going to buy it at $500. Silly. Travel and leisure, same silliness. Auto sales, we already went over that. Trying to stick it to you with a $7,000 profit level. Uh, Elon is ridiculous for raising the prices of those Teslas. Just ridiculous. No one's going to buy a car on a Tesla on debt. They can't. And no one's going to buy a Tesla at $6,000 more. And no one's going to buy a Tesla for $6,000 more when they're losing a job. Ridiculous. They're all going to get hit with this silliness. And the silliness continues across the board for people who said, let's go buy some Doge and it's going to go to $1. Silly. The YouTubers have told you to just throw all your money into crypto and don't have any cash. Silly. And that type of silly approach to the economy is where people are going to get burnt. Now, why is the Dow Jones down 800 points today? Do you see something that's so familiar? Last time that Jay Powell announced that half basis point increase in May, the day he announced it, the stocks went up. The next day, they went down. Why? Because it takes a little bit of time to let this settle in and realize, wait a second. What he's doing here is not going to work. Let's go over what's going to happen between now and September right now. j Powell has a meeting in July, the July FOMC. They're off in August and they're back in September. He's going to do a quarter, he's going to do three quarters and then half in September. But we learned something fascinating in yesterday's announcement from Jay Powell. The raising up of interest rates, he now is making it very dependent upon a new benchmark they rarely used to use. That benchmark is CPI. CPI was released last Friday, and it was at 8.5%. Uh, Wall Street is looking at 8.3%. It's an inflationary number. And this was a big announcement by Jay Powell that they're dependent upon CPI because guess what? So are you, the American consumers. When we saw that CPI number last week, every domino hit in. First, consumer sa savings went down. Consumer sentiment fell those lowest sent uh, sentiment since pre-pandemic based upon that CPI read. Number three, consumers went polled thought we're in recession today. We're not. That's scary. They think we're at the worst part of this economy. We're not. And number four... We all said, aha, uh -huh, on this channel. What is the aha? Uh -huh? The aha uh -huh is gasoline. Gasoline ain't going to come down. CPI is going to be high, and J-Pal ain't going to get it right again. We'll go over that in just one second, but remember, if that CPI read is so high and J-Pal is going to continue to hit really hard, then you need to get that forced to must check in every U.S. state. 
if that CPI, if that gasoline continues to track higher, as high as I'm going to tell you in just a second, $10 a gallon. Imagine how bad this economy is going to be in September. You got to get that for so much check in every U.S. state. Become a member. Stay with me in the second half of this video. We're going to go over those incredible checks one at a time. What am I talking about here? The Consumer Price Index number released last Friday is now the gauge that Jay Powell is using to determine whether to raise interest rates. Well, let's back it up one step at a time and realize the aha moment. Jay Powell will raise interest rates based upon the CPI? Okay. So what is the CPI dependent upon? Food and gasoline. Oh, let's step it back a notch. Is gasoline going down? No, it's not. Why? Because there's no deal by the White House, the Western allies to get replacement gasoline. So is gasoline going higher? It is. How high? I'm predicting $10 a gallon. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. E-E. That means that the CPI is going to go higher? Yeah, it means Jay Powell is going to raise interest rates? Yeah, it means we're going to recession because he's going to keep on raising interest rates. And raising interest rates is not going to reduce the price of gasoline? Of course it's not. And there is your recession starting next year. It's so black and white. It's very, very easy to understand. If the CPI is dependent on gasoline and gasoline is not going down, then Jay Powell is going to keep on raising interest rates and gasoline is going to keep on going up. And there's still never going to be a solution. We go in a recession starting next year. That is phase three. Phase three will be horrific. People are going to lose their homes, lose their cars, lose their businesses, and more. Phase three will not be the lockdown of the pandemic. It will be horrific, much worse, the worst you've seen of a generation. So this is why you have to get that force much check in every U.S. state. Let me go over briefly what's happening with the gasoline. It's coming up tonight on Afternoons LA at 3 o'clock and on Evenings LA at 5 o'clock. They're both brand new shows. You can't miss them. The situation of gasoline, I'm going to explain to you simply, and then I'll go over the details. Gasoline is going up and will continue to go up because the Western allies had one task to do and they've never done it. Get gasoline replaced. We're missing 3.5 million barrels of gasoline per day for us and the Western allies. And if we don't get the missing gasoline replaced, then gasoline goes up. Pretty simple. So what is the White House doing? I'll use an analogy. Honey, we're out of toilet paper. Did you buy toilet paper? No, but let me make an, an Instagram video and talk about how horrible the toilet paper companies are. <laughs> toilet paper company, you're horrible. You're horrible. Your executives are horrible. You're making too much money, toilet paper companies. You're horrible. Honey, did you buy the toilet paper? No, we're out of toilet paper. Well, what are we going to do? I'm going to make another video. Complain about how bad the toilet paper companies are. Do you see the problem here? <laughs> you need the toilet paper. Go buy the toilet paper. You need the gasoline. Go buy the gasoline. The U.S. produces the gasoline. Cannot even if they're the nicest people in the world and they're your best buddy, could never give you 3.5 million barrels a day. They don't have that capacity. No matter if they put 5,000 trillion more wells or whatever they do or jump cartwheels, they cannot do it. You got five choices for the Western Allies. None of which those choices have been pursued by the White House or the Western Allies, and that is why gas is going to go up. Brazil, Venezuela, Iran, uh, OPEC Plus, and Saudi Arabia, all three, all five possible choices have not been produced, pursued by the Western allies. If they don't get asked gasoline from those five Western al from those five countries, you don't have the replacement gasoline, and gasoline goes higher. So what are the analysis analysts saying about the gasoline prices? They all agree, including I, that international Brent crude, the international number, is going to 185 a barrel in the next few months. It's currently 120. Now, here's where I am differ on the U.S. Uh, AAA national average in the pump at, at the gasoline pump station, how much you're paying. I'm predicting it's going from where it is right now, $5 and change, to $10. In the last year, every prediction I have had on this channel for the economy has been correct. So that's why you got to tell people, come on over. This economy is going in, in, to hell in a hell basket, as Terry Rosen and Bob Bacon and a few other people said last night, into hell in a hell basket. Uh, and maybe without a basket, maybe with just, you know, the, 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 the crocheting, just really quickly. And I've been telling you this for a very long time. First, I told you that the inflation would come in at 8% in December 2021 and not go down. I was the only one in financial broadcasting that said that at the time. They were all running this narrative of something light and quick and fast and in and out. No, 
Here we go. We're still at 8.3% inflation. Now in the month of June, who got it right? I was the only person who said it. Next, I said last year that the biggest economic story of 2022 would be Vladimir Putin invading Ukraine. And if we don't get a replacement of oil, we're going to have big problems. There we go. Here we are. Number three. Earlier this year, I said that we are going into recession in 2023. And at the time, people really wanted to call me every name in the book. They said he's crazy. He doesn't always talk about. He's out there in left field. Now everyone can't get the word recession out of their mouth. Number four. I told you, and you told me actually, that the unemployment numbers are surging out of control and that it's a little delayed in the reporting from the Department of Labor, but you're going to see it. At the time, broadcast and media was saying, everyone has a job, everyone's great, everyone's wonderful. You said, no, 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 they're being laid off. They got the data wrong. That's what's happening. And then this last week, when we go into specific data, I said the jobless claims today was going to be 230,000. Run the videos the last week. I consistently said 200,000 new jobless claims today. What it come in at it? 229,000. Wall Street was looking for 217,000. Stop listening to Wall Street. In fact, it actually says um, <laughs> it actually says the second largest financial news channel in America predicted is 217. I predict it's 230. We're taking trying to take them down. I'm not going to name them by name, but here you go. I got it right again. They undervalued it. That is why you got to stay with this channel. But God, tell your friends and family, come on over. Because I'm preparing you for where this economy is going very quickly. I'm also delivering you some great news. It's coming up in the second half. A four stimulus check is in every USA. You got to get these checks. You got to get lots of these checks today. And then right after that, we're going to go into a little bit of preview of that. Raise it up your benefits if you're on SSI. SSDI, VA, and RB, it is a reality. It happened. It is happening. It's confirmation. And we go over the calculation and why it is now, yes, in the membership newsletter for my members as well. Did you become a member yet? Become a member right now. Go right in the video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VIP. Get that four simple check in every US state and stay with me in the second half of this video. We're going to go over those checks. Become a member. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as America's most beloved show at the mornings continues. It's morning, it's all right. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues right now for June 6, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I saw a beautiful exchange during the commercial break. Dragon and Lorraine were talking about positivity and focusing and getting money, and that's the only way you're going to get through this economy. Absolutely well said. The only way you're going to get through this economy is treating this analytically, treating this smart, being sophisticated and being intelligent and getting these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Sitting around and complaining about an executive in the oil industry is not going to get you money. Sitting around saying, honey, there's no toilet paper. I'm going to make a YouTube video complaining about the toilet paper shortage. No, go buy the toilet paper. You got to become a member. You got to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. And we're going to go over these incredible checks starting right now. 
I love the membership of this channel because they're so smart. One of the things I taught viewers day one of this channel is get money fast and get money when times are good. Don't wait when times are bad. And so back in the month of March, when times were sort of good, not that bad, viewers said, LA, can you give me some four stimulus checks? I'm worried about this Bill Bat Better Act. It's not getting it done. And I did. I did. I filed four stimulus checks in every U.S. state for you. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it, annual income. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're young, if you're old, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get these incredible checks. I focus on getting checks for all of you. That's why eligibility is so important, as Kat says, a longtime viewer. And I focus on getting big checks. Anyone who says I want a $600 check or a $1,000 check is ridiculous. That's what I call silly. Because a $1,000 check is going to pay your bills for what? 30 days? 30 days this is June. I got to get you through September. I got to get through September to, to January. And maybe I can get you through ne early next year. So I need to get you tens of thousands of dollars of checks. Not a $600 check. It ain't going to do anything. It'll pay for one bill for one day. And then when that storm of this economy hits in September, you won't be ready. So the great news is I have found you monster checks in every U.S. state. And we're going to get these checks starting right now. These checks are given a lettering system by me on this channel. And we're going to look at them starting right now. A $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check is in every U.S. state. Go get it. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less. Get it. It's actually $6,500 to $12,000. If you're on benefits, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, subscribe to this channel. Go right on this video, hit that subscribe button. Step two, become a member. The membership link, join under the channel, is under the, videos under the video. Click the buddy button, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then go into that incredible newsletter, go down to check aid, it's where it says the link. Go right into the link, click the link, go into the nationwide website, choose your state, then choose the homeowner's weatherizing grant and pounds. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is astronomically large. Look how huge this is. It's humongous. fifteen dollars to $80,000. I don't mess around. Imagine how long you could survive on $80,000 of your bills being paid. Six months? A year? A year and a half? Yeah, this is good money. How do you get it? Go into the membership newsletter. It's a forcible check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less. A married couple, $150,000 or less. Go down to that membership newsletter. Become a member. Go into the link under the video. It says, join now. Become a member. Then get that newsletter everyone is talking about. It's the only one of its kind in America. Go right down in the membership newsletter to see the link for the check B. Click the link. Go into the website. Choose your state. And pounds. Then go get check C. Check C is wonderful. It is $2,000 a month over 12 months on average at MSC, upwards of $45,000. And it's third stimulus. It's the residue of third stimulus still around. Renters, go get it. How do you get check C? Homeowners, how do you get check C? Go get it. Subscribe. Become a member. Go right down that newsletter until you find check C. At check C, it tells you where to call, what to say, and how to say it. You're going to pounce and move very, very quickly. And let's recap all the parts of that starting right now. Step one, go right in this video right now and hit that subscribe button. You can't miss a video. There's too much breaking news on this channel per day, every hour. The Dow Jones down 800 points right now, and we're just having the reaction to the Federal Reserve's, to the Federal Reserve's rate hike yesterday. By afternoons, the show will be different. By evenings, the show will be even more different. Situations changing dramatically. I wish sometimes this was a cooking channel because the cooking shows had the camera up above looking down at the, at the production table. You would literally see a stack of notes this big just for today. There is so much breaking news. You can't miss it. Tell your friends and family, come on over. They need to know where this economy is going. They need to be prepared, whether they're an employee, whether they're a retiree, whether they're a business owner. I'm getting it right. I'm getting it right day in, day out. They need to know where a recession is going, inflation, stagflation, employment, the Federal Reserve, auto, travel and leisure. It's all coming right on board with this channel. All my predictions have been correct. You need to know it. Tell people to come on over subscribe. Next is a little bell under the video. Hit that bell so you get all notifications when a video comes live. Set it to all. And finally, 
become a member. Go under this video and hit the member link. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system, which will send you an alert at 7 o'clock. That's West Coast time. 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. That says New LA Post. You go right in there. It says click here to go to the post. And that's the newsletter. Another great news story broke on this channel two nights ago is that your benefits are going up. And the other breaking news part of this story last night is that it's now featured in the member's newsletter. This is your benefits. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, RB, or more. And what's going on? Your benefits are confirmed going up. The question is how much, and the calculation is dependent upon three months of data. The data coming this July this August, and this September. Now, this is a little complicated. It's a little advanced, and that's why I'm repeating it. So the more you hear it, the more you absorb it. It's also in the newsletter, so you can read along with it. We've always talked about swapping COLA for inflation. Why? Because inflation pays more. But there's two parts of this great story, which I'm going to go over right now. First, the Social Security's chief actuary now says, Steve Goss, that based upon the events of last Friday with that CPI at 8.3%, that he believes your benefits will go up 8% next year lifetime. Wow, that's incredible. That's what we always wanted. That's SS300. That's $300 per, per, per month. It's a reality. It's happening. It's on top of your existing benefits, window, which went up 5.9% last year. So congratulations. It's happening. But here's where it gets better in two parts. One. Goss may be undervaluing how much they're going up. It's not definitive that it's only going to go up 8%. It may go up more. And we're going to do the calculation as a team right now. Goss explains, and I'll explain to you as well, that COLA, he believes, is going to go up, come in at 8% at, uh, later this year. Where does COLA come from? COLA comes from one number over three months. That number is coming in in July, August, and September. And what is that number called? It's called the CPI-W. Sound familiar? It is. It's a subsection, a part of the CPI, which came in last Friday. The CPI, which we all understand is inflation, came in at 8.3% last Friday. 8.3%. CPI-W is a subpart of it. Goss looked at the number last Friday and said, well, if the CPI was 8.3% last Friday, then the CPI-W is likely to be about 8% in July, August, and September. Those three months determine what the COLA number will be for the year. Only those three months. Those are the only three months they use. Now, the Senior League of America, when looking at the data from last Friday, said, no, we think Goss is undervaluing. We think it's going to be 8.6%. Again, this is just people predicting what's going to happen in July and August. It's, it's, we'll all see. We'll, uh, July, August, September. We'll all see this as a family in July, August, September. It's not like uh, it's, it's going to be debated then. We're just trying to predict out what's going to happen. My analysis is that the Seniors League and Goss are both undervaluing it, and it's going to come in closer to 8.9%. Why? I bet you can do this analysis with me because you've learned so well. What is CPI determined upon? CPI is dependent upon the food in the market and, yes, the gasoline. If the gasoline in this month is higher than last month, which already is, if the gasoline next month is, is just as high, and the gasoline the month after that is just as high because no one gets to the Western Allies, the replacement of 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing, then, pretty easy, CPI goes up. Pretty easy. If the gasoline is still high, the CPI goes up. If the CPI goes up, the subsection, the CPI-W goes up, and your cola goes up. So I believe Goss does... I think Goss thinks the gasoline is going to come down or is, 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 is reached its peak. I don't believe it is, as you heard on this recording. I believe gasoline is going to $10 a gallon. So if I'm correct, gasoline is going higher. It doesn't even have to go to 10 It has to go higher. Then I believe the color will be 8.9%. <laughs> wow. Now, the second part of this great story, and it's all featured in the newsletter, is that two bills have been introduced. 
to swap COLA to inflation, which is actually called CPI-E, right away. If that swap happens right away, you would get two lifts. You would get a lift now and you get another lift later this year. Wow. We'll feature more about that tonight on Afternoons LA, a brand new show at 3 o'clock. You can't miss it. Can't miss that show. And then Evenings LA tonight at 5 o'clock. It's a brand new show as well. Here's what you need to know is that between now and September, we have an about face. We have a change of direction in the sea. We have a whiplash. We have a change of course, whatever you want to call it. And as we change course very dramatically, you got to get these checks in every U.S. state. You got to get them today. You can't wait one week, one day, one month. You got to get these checks right today. It would be silly to sit around and wait for the economy to get worse. It would be silly to wait for the Build Back Better Act. It would be silly to say, hey, you know what? Um, maybe I still have a job, and if I don't have a job, then someone else will give me a job. It would be silly not to get these checks to give that financial independence to your family. Silliness is not what you do. It's what people elsewhere do across the board. Number two, when September, when September hits... It's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. And people will be a little bit surprised. And here's something new I want to say for the first time to everyone on this channel. I've never said this before. People react to things when they understand why it happens. But they don't understand why it happens. Sometimes it doesn't set in well. So when you heard there was a thing called COVID and you had to go on lockdown because there's a virus, which you couldn't see... It took a little time to digest it, but then you understood, okay, I have to go on lockdown for my health. When September hits and the economy is really bad, it will take some time for other people who don't watch this channel for it to settle in. Because they'll say, wait a second, it was so good in February. How did it go so bad from February to September? We don't have COVID. Uh, what happened? And the reality check for them will not set in initially. And that's why we're going to go quickly in recession starting next year. Can't wait. Got to move. Got to get these checks across the board. Stay with this video. It'll automatically take you to the 11 o'clock show of Home LA, which, which we go over rounding time for checks and how quickly to get those incredible checks. Stay positive, as Dragon and Lorraine were saying during the live chat and also with Bob Bacon. Stay positive. The way you get through these financial times is you stay smart, you stay on top of the ball, and you move quickly. That is where you stay ahead of the game. As that person I made a parody of early in this video, I said, S running around making an Instagram video saying, "Money, um, uh, honey, I'm going to make a video about why there's no toilet paper. Honey, no, just go buy the toilet paper. We can't do this. You got to get the force of shotgun every USA. You can't sit around and, 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 and hemorrhage about what a particular senator is doing or what he's not doing. You got to get these force of shotgun every USA right now. Get that financial independence. And as more checks come available, I'll find them for you as well. It's a big, bold, beautiful day. We're just getting started. We have a lot more shows coming up, and we'll see what happens with this market later in the day. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful morning. Thank you for joining me again, and stay with Ally for more.